Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my best handbag purchases of 2021 and I do apologize I had to take a few weeks off from recording. I was super sick. I'm definitely much better now but it is Christmas Eve so I am recording this here on Christmas Eve so I do just want to say happy holidays to everyone that celebrates Christmas and I cannot believe that we are almost into 2022. I also really cannot believe the amount of bags that I purchased in 2021. It's a little bit outrageous. However, I did narrow it down to, I think I have eight bags here that I would say are the best bags of the year. My top bags that I would say really made my year. I would say 2021 was definitely better than 2020. Not gonna lie, it was a little bit of a, a tough year still, but I'm glad that we got through it. Thankful for my health, and now I just also wanted to say a big thank you to all of you who are currently subscribed to this channel. I really appreciate you guys, and I always love chatting with you in the comments down below. Also, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Alyssa, and I have a blog called The Gals Guide, and I come on here and I talk about handbags, and this is just something I really love to do. It's a really fun hobby of mine, so if you like handbags, you are definitely in the right place, so definitely consider subscribing down below. Hit that little red button. I would love to have you join this little community with me here. So that being said, I'm going to get into the video of my best bags from 2021. So I'm going to kick it off with the handbag that I'm currently using, and this bag I got for my birthday. And this is the Versace La Medusa, and this is the camera bag. Um, and this is the round, obviously, round camera bag. And this bag is just absolutely stunning. It has the gold Medusa head on the front, and then it says Versace on the back, which is just so chic and beautiful in the black and gold. I really love black and gold, but I feel like this year I really got into it more. I found some really nice pieces, and I do have another bag that's black and gold that I'm going to show you, but this bag has honestly been such a great addition to my collection because it's small, but it really fits a lot, and the round shape just looks really nice on the body, and also, like I said, the black and gold just really works in my wardrobe. It just goes with everything. I'm constantly gravitating towards black with gold, or I wear nude, and like it still works really well with just about everything, and what I love about this bag is it's casual, but can also be dressed up, and of course, with the beautiful gold detailing, it really can make it very dressy when you wear it out. So you really have the best of both worlds with this bag. I think it's a really great piece. I would recommend it to anyone. I did see it on their website just the other day in a couple other colors. They have that monochromatic look with the purple and the pink and things like that and it's just a really really great bag so this I would say is probably number one from 2021 the next bag I'm going to share with you is actually kind of a surprise to me that I put this in one of the best bags from 2021 just because when I had first got it the quality wasn't as good as I had originally thought it was going to be but it really actually has surprised me and I, I think it is better than my first impression so that's that is good. However, it is the YSL Lou camera bag, and this is in the gray with the brass gold hardware, and I really have gravitated towards this bag simply because the colorway is really, really easy to style with just about everything, and I think it looks really great with jeans. This is definitely a casual bag for me. I would wear it out to dinner. I definitely would. I don't think it's as dressy as a lot of the other YSL bags, which is really nice because it's very understated with this kind of rustic gold hardware. I think that's what really makes it for me is that it really is a nice everyday bag and it fits a ton. Like it really fits so much. Like it's just this big giant opening here. Oops, the card fell out. Oh, it did come with the card. But so I did get this from Bergdorf Goodman and I did get it brand new obviously and it, it wasn't that it wasn't in like great condition. It's just that the quality of the leather was not what I was expecting and you know it hasn't gotten scratched or anything but I do still feel like it is you know there's potential for this to get scratched and things there is some wear on the zipper so far um which is okay and I mean the zipper is kind of like not anything special it's just a very basic bag and I do 
really wear it a ton so I really had to mention it because if you are someone that likes an everyday casual camera bag this is really a good one because you can match it with so much you can fit so much in here and it really is better quality than I had originally thought that it was going to be it has really held up very nicely and you know it does have this kind of arch here with the zipper like I don't have it zipped right now but it does kind of make this like domed out shape so that is not gonna stay like flat it's going to like pop up like that which is okay I mean it's fine and then when you zipper it it still kind of stays up so just to keep in mind it's not the sturdiest bag but it is a really nice everyday grab and go fit everything in it bag so I really have been enjoying this this year next bag is a newer bag in my collection I probably got it three months ago and I wear this non-stop it is one of the best bags hands down in my entire collection and it is the Fendi baguette in the size medium this is in the lambskin with the embossed FF's on it obviously it has this beautiful shiny gold and then I do have it stuffed right now super strong magnet obviously and then this is the inside it's just very basic but you do have this top handle strap and then you have the chunky guitar crossbody strap and I use this guitar strap on a lot of my other bags too so really great value definitely an expensive bag like don't get me wrong I did get this pre-loved from the real real and I've just really been using this so much it has uh, Fendi written here on the button there and then this is what the hardware looks like up close it's just this really beautiful shiny brassy gold it looks so elegant and chic I love this bag because you can fit a lot in it and it really looks nice on the body like this strap is pretty short so it does lay pretty high on me which kind of makes it look very trendy I'm also very short so I'm five foot two and I really really appreciate this length I like the top handle however I don't really grab it from the top handle much and I do feel like if you are going to be somebody that carries it by the top handle it may kind of warp some of the lambskin on the bag this bag is definitely squishy and kind of floppy and I wouldn't say like I, I have an insert for it but it is too big and I'm actually thinking about cutting the insert down to fit in here however it, it is definitely a good look like I like the squishy look to it I don't think it needs the structure but I I am worried about over time if this is going to kind of squish in on the top on the sides and things like that so I feel like an insert would actually preserve the shape of the bag long term not so much that I need it for the look if that makes sense I really like this kind of slouchy kind of puffy look to the bag so this I would say is one of my favorite bags in my collection completely I highly recommend this I'm actually thinking of getting one of them in the mini size it which is way smaller than this but I just love the look and the quality of the leather is absolutely beautiful it's super buttery super soft and it just looks really beautiful so I'm really grateful to have this bag in my collection and this has definitely been a staple it will continue to be a staple into 2022 next bag really surprised me as well so this is the very first Alexander McQueen bag that I have in my collection and it is the box bag and it's in this really beautiful like rusty cognac kind of color it's definitely more of like a burnt rust kind of color and it has this really cool detailing on the top it has feet on the bottom which I still have stickers on because why not and it opens up so you twist it and it opens up into this accordion style bag that's super organized and what I love the most about this bag is the crossbody strap so this thick crossbody strap is so comfortable to wear and I love that it comes with this gold chain detail the whole bag is just like a piece of art honestly the way it opens the way it looks the color everything about this bag is super trendy but also really comfortable and casual but can also be dressed up so you can also just wear it with this gold strap 
I haven't worn this as much as I have thought I was going to wear it just simply because I haven't gone out as much but it is a newer bag in my collection but I, I would never sell this bag and honestly I would recommend I've actually recommended this bag to some of my friends that don't have luxury handbags because this is a would be a really great starter bag because it's super comfortable to wear it's very versatile and you get so much value out of the bag with the organization with the additional gold strap and the crossbody strap they're both removed and I just think it's a really great choice and the quality of the leather I think that this is calfskin but the quality is absolutely beautiful it's so durable it's this really soft pebbled texture and I would highly recommend this to anyone looking for a luxury bag and I did buy this from the real real but it was brand new in the box so that was really rare to find you can find these on the pre-loved market for a really good price under a thousand dollars so I definitely would recommend this bag and I really enjoyed it throughout the year. Next up is another bag that I did buy pre-loved this year and I bought this from The Real Real. I actually got it during one of the gift card events when I got a gift card for spending so much. Obviously I do purchase from The Real Real a lot. This is not sponsored but so this bag is the Gucci Mini Ophidia bucket bag and I have been loving this bag. I also have an insert for it now. I will show you. I got it on Amazon. It's this little insert in there and it really helps keep the shape while also protecting that really beautiful like suede lining in there. So I really love this bag more than I thought that I would. It really goes with everything like to the point where I'll probably wear it today and I love the iconic Gucci look. I didn't think that the red and green was going to go with as much but I really love wearing this bag with gray, with black, with jeans, with nude. You can really wear this with a lot. I also wear this with maroon a lot and it's just become a really easy bag to carry. It's not super secure so when you close this up it really doesn't like close too much on the top and I don't have anything in here so it is kind of difficult to close and if that makes you uncomfortable you will not like this bag because literally like you would dump this and everything would fall out of your bag so it's not super secure but if you like a bucket style bag this is a great one because it's a great size and it matches everything and it's iconic and I'll be honest I feel like the actual price point of this bag brand new is really not bad. I think it's about eleven or twelve hundred dollars and usually bags go up in price once they've been around for so long and this one has been around for a pretty good amount of time. It has not changed in the price point. I actually bought this bag because I saw it on Sophie Sohe's channel. I think that's how you say her last name. If I'm saying it wrong I apologize but I really love her and she had styled this bag and talked uh, all about mini bucket bags and I love mini bucket bags too. So this was a really great choice and it really looks great with jeans. It's definitely a casual bag. I wouldn't say that I would wear this out to dinner but this is a really great grab and go bag and it really fits a lot and it work. it's just very functional for everyday use. Okay three more bags to go and this bag I would say is one of the most unique bags that I have in my collection. This is the Off-White Jitney bag and I believe it's the 1.4 and it is in this Staffiano leather and it's this beautiful cream color with the gold drip and this bag has been a really really great pickup for me. I wear this so much. I wear it casually. I wear it dressy. I love a top handle bag. It's so unique and I'm really glad that I picked it up. Unfortunately, the CEO of Off-White, Virgil, he actually passed away this year. If you don't know that, I mean, you don't have to know that, but that did just come out a few weeks ago and I was super sad. And honestly, I wish that I would have picked up more pieces from his collection. This is this was designed by him, so that's pretty cool. There are a lot of bags that actually have it kind of spray painted on here and it says like Virgil was here or, you know, money inside or something like that or not for sale. And these bags are just really a piece of art in my opinion. Like I just think the 
hardware on this bag is what really makes it unique and it's just absolutely beautiful. I did get this brand new from Saks Fifth Avenue and it was around $1,400, but it did just go on sale for the Saks private sale. So if you are somebody who shops with Saks, you can sign up for an email subscription with them and they will send you private sales and they do that with Off-White, they do it with Prada, they do it with Saint Laurent and you can get some of the pieces discounted. So I did see that this was discounted not too long ago and I would say this is just a really great bag. You open it up like this, you just do the little twist here and you open it up and it's this really cool like red interior and I love just the overall functionality of this bag because it's really, really lightweight, very easy to carry. And of course, I just love the look of it. And I love a top handle bag. I think a top handle bag is super functional. And this one in particular, I just think is super cool, can be edgy, but also can be dressy at the same time. So I've really loved this bag. I've worn it a lot and I always get compliments on it when I wear it. So definitely a unique piece in my collection and I would definitely buy more from Off-White. I would probably get something with this same Jitney kind of style to it, whether it's smaller or they have like the wallet on chains, which are really cute too. So highly recommend this, great quality and very, very functional. Okay, this is the second last bag and this is also the newest bag in my collection, but I absolutely had to mention it. This is my Dior Mini Boston bag in the black oblique pattern, and it has the gold, so black and gold, again, no surprise there, and it has the lock and keys on there. This bag is the cutest. Like, this is probably one of my favorite bags in my collection because I had tried to hunt this down for years and could never find it in a quality or condition that was up to my standards. And I finally did, and I got it from the Real Real, and I got it during the gift card event, so I used a gift card on it. And it is just one of my favorite bags. I've hooked on the Fendi baguette strap to this bag and use that for the crossbody and it looks really cool and edgy and I just love the Dior print. I think it's absolutely stunning. I don't think it will ever go out of style and I love the look of this little like speedy Boston bag. Like I just think it's the cutest thing. Love the top handle. I cannot say enough good things about this bag and I would highly recommend this shape in if you are a handbag collector. I would recommend this shape and size in your collection, whether it's Louis Vuitton, whether it's Celine, whether it's Dior, you know, they have so many different brands have, have done this style, but I absolutely love this bag and I have really been loving it. Last but very not least bag is actually the most expensive handbag I've ever purchased and I'm, you know, not super proud to say that, but I do love this bag. This is my Chanel Medium Single Flap Bag, and it's actually in the twist lock here, so it just goes like that, and it pops open, and it just has beautiful silver and gold hardware. The straps are absolutely stunning in the silver and gold, and it opens up to this. I do have an insert in here, this bag is just really beautiful in my collection and I've only worn it a few times this year just simply because I didn't really go out out too much but when I did go out and I wore it out to dinner and things like that I just felt like a million bucks wearing it. I just I love the uniqueness of the Chanel so this is actually from 2019 Carl Lagerfeld's collection and I think it's so unique and I've never seen anything like it and this color goes with everything I mean I, I mean literally it blends in with my room I'm very beige but this is just such a beautiful colorway and it's really easy to carry. I always wear it as a shoulder bag because it is too long for me to wear crossbody, but I also don't really like the look of it crossbody. I think it looks better as a shoulder bag. And it's just a really beautiful bag. Overall, like, it's not the most practical bag. So it is lambskin, and it is way more durable than I would say the Fendi lambskin. This is like a harder, kind of hardier 
leather. I don't know what it is about it, but it's it's definitely very durable. I don't think that this would really get uh, scratched too much. It does make me a little nervous because of the price point, obviously. But I am really, really grateful I was able to pick this up. This was something I, I saw in the store at The Real Real in New York City. And then I bought it online after they discounted the price quite a lot. So I got really lucky to find this bag. And, you know, with Chanel's price increases constantly going up, it's definitely an investment piece that I will have in my collection forever. You know, pass it down if I ever have children, things like that. But... I I really love this bag. This is definitely a prized possession in my collection, and it really put a smile on my face in 2021. So I'm really grateful for all of these bags that I was able to purchase these things. With the end of the year, I'm just thankful for my health, my safety, and that of my family and friends. So this has been a beautiful year. I obviously was able to really reap the rewards and I hope that everyone else also had a great 2021 and a great holiday. If you're watching this on Christmas, thank you for watching this. And if you have any questions about any of the bags that I've talked about here, definitely leave that in the comments down below. I would love to chat with you guys. And also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you join me in this little journey here talking about handbags. Thank you so much again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.